Hopefully I find a, a live one first. Simon Lalonde has 3,500 of these hives. It's still a little cool to start unwrapping them, but when the honey season starts, it's all hands on deck. Or hive. Finding the hands to work on these hives has challenged honey producers for years. They want to hire locally, but working on a bee farm is a tough sell. So it's a very stressful, hands-on, long work hours, working weekends through the summer. Uh, and these guys are able to work those long hours every day and through the entire season. These guys are seasonal workers from Nicaragua. Five of them arrived here on the Lawns farm about 10 days ago. 43 others went to farms across the province. These workers have been here before and they know what they're doing. But this year is different thanks to COVID. They're tested before they leave Nicaragua and they spend their first two weeks in a quarantine lockdown in this house. And they're monitored for symptoms while they're in quarantine. Everyone has their own bedroom, common area, kitchen. So it's, it's accommodation that's required. A lot of beekeepers either have uh, camp housing or a house on site where they've had to go out and purchase a home yeah. within a local village to keep their workers in. The Canadian Honey Council sponsored the charter flight. It brings up workers for farms in Saskatchewan and Manitoba under the temporary foreign worker program. Two more flights will be coming in in the next couple of months. Farming in Saskatchewan is driven by the weather, and so it goes with beekeeping. Simon Lalonde says they need temperatures above zero consistently before they start unwrapping these hives. The weather should be turning in a couple of weeks, and that's when the Nicaraguan workers will be out of quarantine. Dan Zakreski, CBC News, Clavette.